The crowd went silent. Tesla's robot didn't just move, but it fought back. In perfect rhythm, its metal arms blocked every strike, its legs dodged with human-like precision. A man threw punches and kicks, but Optimus countered each one like it could predict the future. And after this video, China's proud Unitree G1 suddenly looked like an antique. No one saw what came next, and then it happened again, but this time in front of audience. Elon Musk confirmed the movements shown in the video were artificial intelligence driven, not teleoperated. Musk noted that the Optimus unit in the video is entirely AI powered, the robot operated independently. No human controlled it remotely. Furthermore, it is not just Kung Fu, Tesla's Optimus robot. Further defines what first principles are. Let's listen to it first. How do you define first principles? First principles thinking is a way of breaking down complex problems into the most basic, fundamental truths that are known to be true, and then reasoning up from there to build innovative solutions. It's like boiling things down to the atomic level and rebuilding from scratch. Elon loves this approach. It's how we innovate at Tesla and SpaceX. Yeah, that's true. NVIDIA CEO has also endorsed the rise of robots specifically in US. Let's listen to what he exactly said. Now, the amazing thing about human robotics is not just the fact that if it worked, it could be quite versatile. It is likely the only robot that is likely to work. And the reason for that is because technology needs scale. Most of the robotic systems we've had so far are too low volume. And those low volume systems will never achieve the technology scale to get the flywheel going far enough, fast enough, so that we're willing to dedicate enough technology into it to make it better. But human or robot, it is likely to be the next multi-trillion dollar industry. The October 2025 martial arts video demonstrated breakthroughs in its radical edge, environmental perception, and real-time decision-making abilities. Three years produced massive changes. The robot evolved from simple box moving to complex martial arts. Elon Musk stated unequivocally, 80% of Tesla's future value will come from the robot Optimus. Musk made the prediction on his social media platform X that 80% of Tesla's value would eventually come from Optimus. Robots. The company bet everything on robotics. Elon Musk once said that his humanoid robot Optimus now takes more of his energy than any other Tesla project. He explained that the hardest part of building a robot is the hardware, especially the hands and arms. The human hand has about 27 joints, most muscles in the forearm, and a complex structure that's hard to copy with machines. In China, the Unitree G1 robot has grabbed attention for being small, fast, and cheap. It stands about 1.27 meters tall, weighs 35 kilograms, and sells for 99,000 yuan, about $13,700. It moves with 43 joint motors and a three-finger hand design. The G1 is quicker than Tesla's Optimus, reaching 12 km per hour compared to Optimus's 8 km per hour. On paper, the Chinese robot looks stronger and more efficient. By 2025, Unitree had sold over 1,000 units of the G1, while Tesla was still working with prototypes. Yet, when Tesla posted its Kung Fu Optimus video, everything changed. Critics had once mocked Tesla's videos as sped-up clips or remote-controlled robots, but this time, Tesla confirmed the movements were driven by real artificial intelligence, not human operators. The robot moved smoothly and performed martial arts routines without help, proving major progress in AI learning and balance. Elon Musk revealed that Optimus 3 is now in its final design stage and set for launch in late 2026. He expects it to cost between $20,000 and $30,000, with plans to build a million units a year by 2030. He said mass production will cut the cost to about $20,000 per robot, making humanoid robots affordable for homes and businesses. 
A recent clip also showed Optimus performing kung fu moves next to actor Jared Leto, marking its first public appearance as Tesla's symbol of AI innovation and global showmanship. For Elon Musk, Optimus is more than just a viral robot, it's Tesla's future. As competition intensifies in the electric vehicle market, Musk believes robots will become Tesla's main source of profit. He has even predicted that by 2030, up to 80% of Tesla's total value could come from Optimus. Meanwhile, China is rapidly advancing its own robotics industry. The Ministry of Industry and Information Technology released guidelines to make China a global leader in humanoid robots by 2027, aiming to build several world-class companies. State support and funding have fueled fast innovation. Unitree Robotics, one of China's top developers, said it built its G1 humanoid robot in just three months, half the time needed for its earlier H1 model. The G1's affordability, starting around $16,000, and quick delivery gave Unitree a strong market edge. But Tesla's Kung Fu Optimus video changed the conversation. The demonstration wasn't remote controlled, it showcased real AI-driven balance, agility, and reaction in real time. The use of martial arts proved the robot could adapt to unpredictable movement, an essential skill for working safely in homes, factories, or warehouses. Tesla now plans to mass-produce Optimus, with a goal of 1 million units a year by 2030. Musk said production will begin with about 5,000 robots for Tesla's own factories in 2025, expanding to tens of thousands the following year. For Musk, robots aren't a side project, they're the core of Tesla's next revolution. Production plans revealed serious commitment. Thousands of robots in one year, tens of thousands the next year. By mid-2025, Tesla had reportedly built over 1,000 Optimus prototypes and was using quite a few of them in its battery production workshops. Perception shifted dramatically after October 2025. Unitree sold more robots today. Tesla controlled tomorrow's narrative. The Kung Fu video proved AI superiority Chinese robots move faster on paper, American robots move smarter in practice. Manufacturing capability mattered less than software intelligence. Marketing transformed technical achievements into cultural moments. One 36-second clip changed global robotics perception forever. Meet Figure 03, a robot that can load a dishwasher like a human and handle fragile laundry with unmatched precision. This is not a prototype stuck in a lab. Backed by $675 million from Bezos, Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Intel, Figure AI's third-generation humanoid represents a leap in robotics technology that's ready for the real world. Figure AI introduced Figure 03 on October 9, 2025, marking what the company describes as a complete hardware and software redesign aimed at creating a general-purpose robot capable of learning directly from humans. The robot stands 5 feet 6 inches tall and weighs 9% less than its predecessor, Figure 02. The company engineered the robot from scratch, specifically for high-volume manufacturing at BotQ, their dedicated production facility in Salem, Oregon. BotQ's first-generation manufacturing line possesses the capacity to produce up to 12,000 humanoid robots per year, with a target of 100,000 units over the next four years. The sensory system received fundamental upgrades. Figure 03's cameras capture twice as many frames per second compared to Figure 02, reduce latency by 25%, and provide a 60% wider field of view per camera. These improvements deliver what Figure describes as a denser, more stable perceptual stream for intelligent navigation and precise manipulation in complex, cluttered spaces. The cameras also feature expanded depth of field, allowing the robot to clearly perceive objects at varying distances. Each hand contains an embedded palm camera that provides close-up vision when the main cameras cannot see the workspace. This becomes critical when the robot reaches into cabinets or manipulates objects in confined spaces where the head-mounted cameras have no line of sight. The palm cameras feed real-time visual data to Helix, Figure's proprietary vision language action AI system, enabling the robot to adjust grip and hand positioning continuously during manipulation tasks. The hands themselves incorporate custom-developed tactile sensors in each fingertip. These sensors detect forces as small as 3 grams of pressure, approximately the weight of a paperclip resting on a finger. Figure developed these sensors internally after determining that existing market options could not withstand real-world use. 
The fingertips use softer materials that adapt to the shape of different objects, providing better grip control across fragile, irregular, or moving items. Figure 03 operates using Helix, the company's in-house AI architecture that combines vision, language understanding, and physical action into a unified system. Helix processes visual information from multiple camera sources, interprets natural language commands, and generates motor control signals at high frequency. According to Wikipedia, Helix features two processing systems. System 2 handles high-level planning at 7 to 9 operations per second, while System 1 provides low-level motor control at 200 operations per second. Each robot contains two GPUs that power these computational systems. Figure claims the robots can pick up nearly any small household object, including those never encountered before. The audio hardware system receives substantial improvements for natural speech-to-speech -speech interaction. The speaker measures twice the size of the previous generation and delivers nearly four times the power output. The microphone relocated to a position that provides improved performance and clarity during voice conversations. Users can now communicate with Figure 03 using natural language without the distortion common in conventional voice assistant systems. Figure 03 supports wireless inductive charging through coils integrated into the robot's feet. The robot steps onto a wireless charging stand and charges at 2 kilowatts without any physical connection. In home environments, this design allows the robot to autonomously dock and recharge throughout the day as battery levels decrease. The system also includes 10 gigabits per second MEMIVE data offload capability, enabling entire fleets to upload terabytes of operational data for continuous learning and improvement. Safety features address the requirements for home deployment. The robot incorporates strategically placed multi-density foam to protect against pinch points. Soft textiles cover the exterior rather than hard machined parts. The battery system includes multiple layers of protection against abuse or malfunction at the battery management system level, cell level, interconnect level, and pack level. The battery has already achieved certification to the UN 38.3 standard and UL 2271 battery safety certifications. The soft goods are fully washable and can be removed or replaced without tools. Comparing Figure 03 with competing humanoid platforms reveals distinct positioning strategies. Tesla's Optimus stands 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 125 pounds. Optimus Gen 3, announced in May 2024 and demonstrated in November, features 22 degrees of freedom in the hands plus 3 inches, the wrist and forearm, compared to 11 degrees of freedom in Gen 2. Elon Musk stated in September 2025 that 80% of Tesla's future value will come from Optimus and related AI businesses. Tesla plans to produce approximately 5,000 Optimus robots in 2025 for internal factory use. Musk projects the eventual retail price between $20,000 and $30,000 once full-scale production begins. Boston Dynamics Electric Atlas robot measures 1.5 meters tall and weighs 89 kilograms. Atlas contains 50 degrees of freedom that provide extensive range of motion and dexterity. The robot operates using large behavior models developed in collaboration with Toyota Research Institute. These models enable Atlas to accomplish long-horizon manipulation tasks by training on diverse task data rather than specialist policies for individual tasks. Scott Quindesma, Vice President of Robotics Research at Boston Dynamics, stated that training a single neural network to perform many long-horizon manipulation tasks leads to better generalization. Boston Dynamics began testing Atlas at Hyundai's Georgia facility in 2025, with commercial launch planned for 2026 to 2028. Estimated pricing ranges around $140,000 to $150,000. Agility Robotics Digit stands approximately 1.7 meters tall and weighs 42 kilograms. Digit was designed specifically for logistics and warehouse operations. The robot features backward configured legs reminiscent of ostrich anatomy, enabling movement in tight spaces, stair climbing, and deeper reach into shelving units. Agility Robotics leads the industry with the first commercially deployed humanoid in warehouses and manufacturing facilities. In 2023, Agility partnered with GXO Logistics in a multi-year agreement, marking the first commercial deployment of humanoid robots in logistics. 
Digit's latest version includes expanded battery capabilities lasting up to 4 hours, Category 1 stop functionality, safety PLC implementation, and autonomous docking capabilities. Amazon has also begun testing Digit at its robotics research facility near Seattle. Figure 03 stands out from rivals by focusing on home use as well as commercial work. CEO Brett Adcock told Time that when robots can do nearly everything, humans can even build and repair themselves, the cost of goods could drop sharply, raising global wealth. Figure AI aims to create a general-purpose robot that works in any environment. The company designs and builds most parts in-house, including actuators, sensors, batteries and structures, while partnering with select suppliers for scale. By cutting part counts and switching to die casting and injection molding, it lowered costs and sped up production toward thousands of units per year. In September 2025, Time filmed Five Figure Zero, three robots performing home chores, loading dishes, doing laundry, and folding towels, though some tasks still showed limits. Powered by the Helix software, the robots demonstrated what figure plans for the final model. Big challenges remain. Robots still struggle with flexible objects, realistic training simulations, and reliable operation in messy environments. Success depends on durable hardware, adaptable AI, and affordable manufacturing. Safety rules for humanoids are still being written. Figure 03 represents the newest step in a fast-moving race toward practical humanoid robots, one that's reshaping how humans and machines will work together.